Hello everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome to Lost Words Beyond the Page! This was given to us by Sketchbook Studios, and oh, it looks so cute so Sketchbook far. Sketchbook Games. Sketchbook Games! Sketchbook Games! Sketchbook Games. Specifically I, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Really does look like, yeah, they, they have the, the ink and the watercolors. I remember seeing a little bit of the trailer where it's this girl running, sort of side-scrolling fashion, and yeah. I, I I suppose you use words in order to progress through the narrative and such. I love how more and more games are starting to incorporate these non-linear uh, structures for narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should I should I begin? Yeah. I've already done a lot of. Oh, I I, the, the only other thing was you. they had a demo at the uh, the last festival, but we just didn't get to it. There was oh, too many really? games. Yeah, I would have played. It. I wanted to. It was on the list for games that you would enjoy, but it was like 150 games. Like, ah, uh, I, I like the little cursor. It, it's uh, it is, a little glowing it is sparkle. Pretty. Yeah. All right. In any case, let's commence. Oh, look at this. Yep. It. This looks like a genie of some sort. Yeah. You might hear me slurping a little bit. I've got very hot, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Yeah. All right. I needed some hot cocoa. Oh, is that her grandmother giving her a present? Mm hmm Yep, it's a birthday. Ooh, this is some really good hot cocoa, too. Oh, this book belongs to... Oh, that whale Me. shark. This kid's already super talented at watercolor. Oh, dang. <laughs> Me? Do I have to... Okay. So it's back or forth. Can I use WASD? Okay, I can yeah. still use WASD. Whoa! <laughs> I could fall off the word. I'll if you jump. want to, you might be Hello, able to uh, turn on the okay controller. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. Platforming off... Lettering... Now, I wonder if this is a collectible of some sort. It's got to be something. Oh, that's you, journal. She is addressing the journal. Yeah, a journal that is a watercolor. I'm it's probably Isabel not... Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. I wonder what Titch is supposed to stand for. No clue. And I, I can't crouch down through it. So let's go through here. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. Wait. Chews on curtains? How, why would you do that? Oh, he's a baby. That's why. Teething on it. I remember as a child... There was something interesting about the flavor of fabric. Did you ever suck on the end of your sleeves? I I did it on the um just the collar of my shirt. Ah, uh, the <laughs> I suppose you would have collars on your shirt. Yeah. If it was like an old school polo shirt. No, no, just like just like on a regular t-shirt. I yeah. just like bring bring the t-shirt neckline up and just kind of chew or suck on it. Yeah, there's there was a kind of saltiness to it. Yeah. I think. I stopped doing it when I started wearing synthetic and shirts. Then there's... Ah, yeah, because synthetic shirts would be stretchier and do they soak up water more swiftly or less swiftly? I forget. But yeah, there's a there's a certain flavor to cotton shirts. Yeah. Also, mum. Yeah, I think you have to drag that over. Oh this? Yeah. Oh Mum, my top tea drinking buddy. <laughs> Gotta love tea. Wait, no. How do I get that? Eh. I, I want it. Do I have to do a low jump? There we go. Ooh. Oh, actually, she did crawl up that S. Yeah. Only just so. So you can mantle. Queen of the kettle. Guardian of the biscuit tin. Now, in England, they, biscuits are cookies, correct? Yeah. Yeah. 
Kind of like how fries are... are... Well, there's chips, and then there's fries. Like, so we call them fries, but they call them chips. Yeah. And for them, chips are crisps. Mm-hmm. I think that's what the terminology is. I think so, yeah. Ah! I go get my tea and this. This. Maybe if we land on it, something yep. else will emerge. Probably a cat. They do like to dip their paws in it's things. Is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Jano. <laughs> Pinky fact. Actually, afraid of mice. Huh, that's funny. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Now I wonder if, can I take this to glow And up? made a wish. Ah, there we go. That's neat. For blue? Mm-hmm. Can I put this anywhere so I can platform more easily? Oops, nope. Did not want to go there. I think... Yes, actually. Yeah, I can. You might want to use that... Uh, to so get that, up here. Yeah. Made a wish to be taller than Dad. <laughs> hey, could happen. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of... Becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Let's see. Let me get this just so. Starting as half the battle, Ran. I can sympathize with that. Starting a project is always the most difficult part. Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Ran. Better make sure I get that here so I don't drop down into the oblivion. Don't worry about being good. Practice, practice, practice. Ran. It's true. This is good advice. Mm -hmm. I always hate Ran it when I play a game of it. Says. Maybe it's just a writer writes? Yeah. But what if you did it wrong? <laughs> Writes a, a writer. writer. <laughs> Writes a writer. Try it. I don't even think they can fit. Yeah. Same. It doesn't look like it. Fine. Is there a way for me to get out? Can I move this while I'm on it? No! I can't. Uh, oh, it's not like it matters. <laughs> hey. Writer. Writes. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. Anything. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. <laughs> As most birthday wishes Grand tend said to be. writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. Ah, so you unlock the gate. Hmm, will I be able to make that? I don't... I'm not confident enough in that. Maybe a little bit high... Oh, wait. No, I can walk along the gate. That's good. Now, where should I start? I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Oh, I wonder if I bring this over here. Water the acorn. Aha! Uh -huh. Comes the tree. Or about my writing. I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction! <laughs> a romance. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Science fiction? Yes. A comedy? Maybe. I do love science. Comedy. A drama. Is my humor too weird? Fairy tales. <laughs> Yonorama. A drama. Fairy tales. Wait. We're getting somewhere. 
Aren't those for kids? Ah! I'm falling off. Oh, okay, thank goodness. I start up here, it makes things easier. Fantasy story! Yes, fantasy is also a good choice. Eureka, that's it. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Uh. <laughs> well, you sit there brainstorming for six years, and you come up with a billion ideas that you throw out the window, and you save forever on the starting phase. Or you ruminate over one story idea and spend all your time crafting it down to the minute detail and never actually go about writing it. I'm talking about planning out the bestiary, the magic system. All the characters, the biology of the different character races, everything. How interdimensional travel functions. I I don't know. That that's my issue. So Wander has described his his issue with writing. I've described my issue with writing. Yep. Once upon a time. Ah uh, yes. Yes, the simplest beginning. Once upon Ugh. a time. No one said this would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away. Far away from where? In the land of... Astoria. Astoria. A place <laughs> of peace and magic. Well, it could have been Estonia. A place of mud and sadness. <laughs> uh, Storia. I'm already liking the odd... Belfords? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 those are houses. See oh, they're they, houses. See how they have little holes in them? Yeah, and they're I was up? thinking they were like bell fruits or nuts. Could you imagine what happens if there's a bad windstorm, though? Just those... Jangle, jangle, jangle. Those swinging well, I back mean, and forth. Squirrels have to be able to survive in their nests in the middle of a storm. Right, but they tend to be tucked into various nooks and trees and... Okay, so there's peace and magic. What happens? There is a girl named... Hmm. Grace. Sounds noble. Or spiritual, maybe? Georgia. Someone who confronts monsters. Robin. Be like a bird in the sky. I'm liking Grace. What do you prefer? Uh, eh, Robin? I, I figured that you would choose Robin. Hmm. I kind of like the sound of Grace. What if do you, you guys wanna, want? No, if you want to go Grace, go for it. I just, I always try to avoid names for people that I know. Oh, you know Graces? I suppose well, yeah. we, I suppose so we know we Graces. We went to college with a Grace, remember? Yeah, true. Though, I guess you weren't around her nearly as much. No, and the other thing, too, is... I don't know. Robin always makes me think of Robin Hood. Also, Rob. Also, this is an odd Robin, because it has a Y. I think that <laughs> might just be the British spelling. Uh, fantasy. Robin! Everyone knew her by the bright color. Ooh, red dress? Green dress purple. or purple dress. Of course purple. Gotta love purple. I like how the markings and her hair color change. Oh. Actually, look at that. So the red has a rose. Green, she has a feather and some vines. Is that a feather or is that like a horn? I think it's a feather. Okay. And you notice how she has kind of blue markings on her face here. Mm. And then there's red markings here. And then there's green markings here with some vines and flowers. And she has more of a reddish hue to her hair. So I'm I'm between green and purple. Purple. I know. I know purple's our favorite color. Of her purple dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life. For she was the only apprentice of the village guardian. I I think this broke. <laughs> She's in the falling uh, position. Uh -huh. Here, there she, you go. she's out of You're it back. now. The village guardian, what does the guardian look like? Elder Ava. 
Oh, this is definitely her grandmother. Yep. Look at the bun. Oh, she's a Mary Sue. Uh, hey. I mean, that's how most kids start writing. Start over. Having their self-insert characters. How oh, I started writing. All characters in this story are fictitious. Any relation to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> they have to have that disclaimer. Of course. Uh, Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Robin. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... As kind, she cared for others and liked making fruit punch. Smart, she loved learning and went nowhere without her books. Playful, she was happily mischievous and always found something to play with. I like books. Okay. How do you make fruit punch with eggs? Badly. <laughs> <laughs> and flour? <laughs> well, first you make uh, a strawberry tart. Then you blend it and mix it with water so to thin it out a bunch. And then you feed it to people because you're a good person. You don't drink it yourself because you know better. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. I, I like books smart. Huh? This is going to be the village. Oh, is this three D? Yeah. Looks it. Oh, look at the little letters floating out of the portal. Not too far away, in the land of Astoria. E, Aster V. -E. There lived a young girl named Robin. Yeah, so is that just a convoluted, uh, like, character selection? She was smart mm -hmm. and loved to study and learn new things. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Robin. Hello, little firefly. I am the firefly. Hello. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. I might need to turn the dialogue up. What yeah, do you think? there should be a dialogue slider. Uh, you might want to finish the cutscene first. Firefly shared Robin's excitement. I was studying before you showed up, Firefly. We should pick up my books on the way back. I sometimes forget where I put stuff. Especially when I'm lost in a book. Okay, now you should be able to press escape. Options, audio, sound. Yes. And voices. Max I'm, that out. Is, I'm, is, I'm Isabel Barbara Kirk. It just Kirk. sounded so loud one here. One down by one. I'm Isabel Barbara Kirk. Because it sounded so quiet in the game. Yeah. So I, I think this is fine now. Crack. I do appreciate that this game started balanced. This is at 100% on Windows, which, like, usually at that point, it hurts my ears. This book was about a pirate queen... Such an exciting life. <laughs> oh, so are we trying to find the books? Oh, so is it just... Is there a way for us to move this? Shell, yep. grab my controller. It's right next to you. Oh. Because it's probably going to be a lot more comfortable. But then I don't get to have the cursor, buddy. Uh, use your right stick. I, I suppose that works. It's up to you. If, if you want to keep doing keyboard and mouse, I just find for games like this, it's a little bit more comfortable. Ah, yes, I can move this over. Ah. This one's about ancient lands. Maybe we'll go there, Firefly. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. <laughs> Firefly has been 
<laughs> dunking the espresso while you turn that controller on. It's just like. Ah! <laughs> I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Oh, Careful, I see broken plank Robin. there. Careful. Robin imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And down! Oh, gosh. Oh, that's interesting. So, A. Whoa, 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 whoa wait. I don't want to. Huh. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought we were supposed to swing with it. Robin this doesn't seem like the kind of game we can kill you. Back to the village. I really like these like trees. This one. Mm -hmm. Though, I think it's the same tree over and over again. I think those two are the same tree, but there are other trees. Oh, well, this one's the same tree. Just so flips. There are, there they are they have they have others. I just was like, I like these trees. Oh, I like this tree. E. But they're nicely painted. They are very nicely painted. She right. loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. I that would freak me out. <laughs> Crawling through a bunch. Of I roots. have claustrophobia really issues. Just one more little slide. Here we go! <laughs> I start crawling at the very beginning. Uh-oh. Here. I'll go up this way. The old cargo lift. Barely used. Why barely used? I used the heck out of a entrance rope elevator To the village like above. Robin couldn't wait. To learn more about fireflies, she'd get herself a book about her village's history. Look, Firefly. Man. Home. Village in the treetops. Man, this music is actually really good. Lights and enticing smells of Elder Ava's heart welcome. Oh, wow, look at how large these doors are. Dang. Then again, she's supposed to be Elder small. Ava. Maybe? Happy birthday, Robin. How do you get to your bed, Ava? She just leaps from the staircase. I've made a new friend. Look at me. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean yes it is time wait do people who find magical fireflies get to leave the village possibly would you fetch me that box please ava was sure that robin would rise to the occasion rise oh make the box rise up through the floorboards oh, apparently <laughs> Ooh. Anything? Go ahead. Open it. Yeah, anything in the book? Rise. Oh, so did we learn a new skill then? This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you. Others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Ooh, so would I be able to access Rise in order to... Dunno? Can I leave? It looks like I can only make objects rise. Make grandma rise. <laughs> no. Okay, how do I leave? Do I press A, this, that, that? Go out the right side. Oh, you're right. 
Is there a sprint button? Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. If you want to just do keyboard and mouse. Elsa Ava mm -hmm. reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. Ava's favorite pendant. Set with a giant... Ruby, emerald, or sapphire? Now, I thought that... Wasn't she wearing a blue necklace originally? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how would you make this decision? I uh, would say that rubies and sapphires have a greater hardness than emeralds and therefore <laughs> are... Well, and also, ruby and sapphires are exactly the same. They're both corundum. One of them just has a little bit more... Red, like one of them is just on the red scale, one of it's on the, the blue scale. Those sapphires can also be green, yellow, pretty much any corundum that isn't pink or, or well, actually, no, there can be pink sapphires. Pretty much, if it's not red, it's a sapphire. Pretty much. I like sapphires. Okay. What do you like? Yeah. It might determine what necklace color she has. I mean, I could go with rubies as well. Nah. You don't like rubies as much? Nah. Okay, fine. Sapphire. That's also your birthstone. Sapphire! I like opals. Now, off you go. Opals are pretty brittle. Because they have a high water content. Don't I'm microwave them. I'm so proud of you, Robin. Oh, see? Yep. Yep, there's the sapphire. So it probably would have been red or green, depending on which one Absolutely. you chosen. With her outfit, red or green probably would have looked better, but now the sapphire stands out, I suppose. It's the only blue thing on her person, mm -hmm. aside from her pants, which are kind of dark blue. I can't wait to try out my magic book. Oh, yes, the magic book. The and next word she learns is Avada Kedavra. Robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Followed by Kerblamo, because time to destroy things. Oh. It's time for chaos. Oh, how'd you do that? Wait a minute. She's got the power. She must have the book. Robin must be the new Firefly Guardian. That was amazing. The best thing I've seen all morning. This seems really unsafe. Look at all all the guys in the foot uh village. I was about to say footage. All the guys in the village have gold pendants or yellow ones around mm -hmm. their neck. But well, ladies don't get one. What if I take this away? Wait, those are just permanently. Yep, they're levitating? stuck there forever. That is a holy edifice. Oh nope. It's come crashing down, and look at the physics on it! Oops, sorry for the mess. <laughs> Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Oh, my back's aching just looking at it. Robin loved throwing actors. stones over the rooftops. Can I jump up here? No, I can't. Can't go that way. Wait, loved throwing stones but not over today. the rooftops? not today! Ah, missed. Could I Go on! make all the stones rise up? No. Ah, I shouldn't have used my magic that way. Book. Yes, I do. Today, I the firefly shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. I'll take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Robin. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Robin. But Robin has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. 
I it does bother me a little bit that they have no safety rails in this About village. Uh -huh. maybe on. Like how have there not been countless fatalities, or do people just bounce in this universe? Armlessly off the ground. No, don't you know? There, there's no falling damage. Oh. Can I do something with this stuff? Shall stop trying to just cause <laughs> industrial <laughs> havoc. Okay. If you could take... In the warm breeze. If I could take what? If you could take one video game mechanic and just apply it to real life. Like, no falling damage. What would you go for? Because no falling damage is right up there for me. Yeah, no falling damage is huge. At the same time, what if you fall into a place that you can never get out of? Well, then you starve, but... Yeah. But you would have died on impact. Yeah, you would have died on... Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's just a swift versus a slow death. Yeah. In that situation. Hmm. Food healing would be kind of decent. Food healing? Yeah. You know, you just eat a wheel of cheese and you gain some HP back. I mean, pretty much just, uh, like, revive. Yeah, or, or I just feel like that would get real messy. They, they get I, I'm thinking messy. from the perspective of everybody having access to this. How about double jump? You'd have to get rid of falling damage first, though. Because, <laughs> like, I used to play Morrowind, which had falling damage. And you could level your jump up to the point where you would harm yourself every time you jumped. Oh. Which was really funny. It slats creaked with a gentle familiarity as Robin crossed it. Start trouble, no doubt. Off to start trouble, no doubt. <laughs> They're just sticking yeah. their heads out their windows. Uh, yeah, I. They don't. They don't really have glass. I. Yeah, it's just the the way their place is really silly looking. <laughs> Why would I want to lift this? Ooh, fast travel. Oh, unless I jump onto it. Yeah. Fast travel would be really good. Mm. Yeah, tell yeah, I suppose just waypoints or teleportation. Cause yeah, if if I could just fast travel back to my parents' while, house. Robin. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Blast. How did the platform withstand that? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I can raise the gate. Magic. That won't fix the ropes, though. You'll have to manage that all on your own. Yeah, honestly, IRL fast travel would probably rank higher than fall damage. Imagine the ways that people could deliver things. Yeah, well, you but would, you delivery would just go any, away. You wouldn't have to have any planes. Yeah, it's true. Planes. Well, I mean, it depends. If you had to move something big. Because mm -hmm. usually fast travel only works if you're uh, if you're not over encumbered. Yeah. So what you would have is you'd have a bunch of really burly dudes Robin, delivering items. Wait, to <laughs> I'm sliding backwards. <laughs> Soon they'd bless her what? as new village guardian. Do you want, I feel like this is setting What's you up the to... What's Guardian going to be like, Firefly? I have a feeling she's going to get to the tree and the rest of the Fireflies are gone. Or something. What do you think? Oh, maybe, yeah. There has to be a source of conflict in this... Or it's just like the cutest world. dang game ever. It's adventurous. Because this is a really cute game. They could have, like, light... To Let's no con swing into conflict. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, we have to go crawling through this little cavern here. Robin crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. If you're skydiving, you could fast travel before you it hit the gun like in order the possibility of fall damage. All. You could, but if you get your timing wrong, you're in trouble. didn't feel like being hugged at all. It's because it's stone. It's an unfeeling mineral. Ooh. 
Oh, wait, am I gonna have to raise this? Yeah. That's why they have the little arrows, yep. of course. The rocky cliff face posed no challenge to her now. Can't be moving while fast traveling. Yeah, that's a good point. The sacred bell to announce her arrival. I, I suppose they anticipate jump everyone's and grab going it. to jump to get it. Okay, I'll slide down to the proper place. Time to ring. I used to have a rope swing like that, and it was so nice. It was effectively just a long rope tied to a an upper branch on a tree. I think you got to keep going until something keep, happens. I have to keep ringing it. Yeah. <coughs> ah. Maybe not. All right, because I don't see any other. Fast travel sounds great until you get the message can't fast travel while enemies are nearby. Same time though, you wouldn't get that warning normally, so like that'd be stressful. But at least you'd know there are enemies nearby. But like me right now, do I know if there's enemies nearby? No idea. Maybe just try jumping to the right. I think I'll have to use it to swing over. Yeah. There we go. It didn't look like you'd be able to do it At because the last, pillar was in the, the way. The tree was in sight. Home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. See? Kept mm -hmm. the village safe from harm. Oh, the fireflies. Oh, look, it's Ori. Oh, yeah. Go on. Show them what you can do. All right. That's, That's right. it. They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy that birthed stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. Or at least until she and retires. And so Robin became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Oh, I like that floating animation. So this game is downright adorable, and we're going to play more of this. It's, it's very chill. It's very heartwarming. It's a little heartbreaking, uh, and we'll get further into that one. But it's just kind of the perfect cozy game for us right now. So we're, we're going to do a full playthrough of this one. Especially because it's a reasonably short game. Uh, which is super nice for me. So I guess before we go, Lost Words is available on Steam and Good Old Games and possibly some other platforms. Uh, I only know of those so far. Um, but it's available now for 15 bucks if you do want to pick it up yourself and play it. It's very much a game that is, I think, kind of aimed more towards, well... I don't know if I want to say, like, a younger audience, but it definitely feels like the kind of thing that, like, would be good to play with a kid, potentially. It's just got that, like, cute storybook feel with enough, like, kind of real-world life lesson stuff that might actually be useful for an, uh, for a younger audience. But anyway, uh, I guess with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because we're, like I said, going to do a full run of this one. And also, we've got a ton of other indie games to check out, much in the same caliber as this. So, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.